What's up guys, it is Coach from Baker. You haven't seen me in ages and that's just the way it is. Um, I just want to talk about the racism that Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho and especially Bakayo Saka got <clears throat> from missing the penalties for England that cost them the Euros. <coughs> now I'm watching a podcast and... I'm just thinking to myself that racism is still happening. Like, and this is kind of one of the reasons why I I don't really watch England friendlies or I'm not in, I'm not invested into England as much as I was before. For this one, I was because I genuinely believe we could win it and we didn't. And then when you're seeing all the racist comments, the monkey emojis, the banana emojis, and all the hate messages, all the racism that Bakayo Saka, Jaden Sancho and Rashford again, to the point where Saka shouldn't even have to apologise for missing a penalty, but because he's black, he has to do it, and it's just mad. Because I know if that was Luke Shaw, or Mason Mount, or Jack Grealish, they wouldn't get any that wouldn't get that much abuse. And I'm just like, it's just really, really sad. And it just goes to show that some English people are just absolute wankers and they should never go to a football stadium ever again. Especially the older ones as well, who are full of shit. Still being racist, still saying racist comments. And you, you're, you've, your experience, which make it racism out of football, and you're still being the useless twats that you are. You know, for those ones that are over, th- that are you know old and experienced in terms of going to football games, watching football games, and still being racist towards black players, you're just fucking twats. You're twats, and you're wankers, and you know that your life is fucking shit, and that's why you you're just spreading the abuse, and you're just being racist towards these black players. Your life is just shit. And it's just as simple as that. Nobody wants to say it. You don't want to say it. You don't want to admit it. But your life is just shit. And that's why you're doing what you're doing. It's not because, oh, they're black. It's not not because, oh, England lost the far. England lost the far. No, it's them or fuck black people. You're you're saying fuck black people, right? And being racist towards them because your life is just shit. Your life is fucking wank. And you do nothing with you do nothing with yourself. For those that are being racist towards Bakayo Saka, Jaden Sancho, and Marcus Rashford, you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. You should be really fucking ashamed of yourselves. And these are one of the reasons why. Now it's kind of put me off supporting England. The fact that's even happened is just really fucking disgraceful. It's bad enough we lost at Wembley, but then to be racist. And to receive the discrimination that they that those three uh, boys uh, received. Bear in mind, Bakayo Saka is one of the reasons why we even made it to the fucking final. And who's was brilliant. So was Raheem Sterling. One of the ones that actually scored for us. So we can make it through to the final. Because I know if Raheem Sterling and Bakayo Saka was not in that team, we wouldn't even make it to, to the fucking semi-finals. Let alone finals. So I'm just letting you know, those black players that you have to be racist towards, all right? Being racist towards Bakayo Saka, right? He's one of the players that actually played well, that made it to the finals that we ever made in the past 55 years. So I'm just letting you know that. I'm letting you know. Even England's golden generation couldn't fucking do it, couldn't make it to the finals. So I'm just letting you know those black players that you're being racist towards, right? We made it to a final in the last 55 years. So just remember that bullshit, all right? But your punk ass was still watching England and your ass was getting pissed because you couldn't make it to no finals. So shut the fuck up. But anyway, <coughs> this video's late, but I'm going to say it anyway. All right. Kick racism out of football. All right. And Bakayo Saka, Rashford, and Jaden Sancho, even though you don't play for Chelsea and I don't like your clubs at all, hold your head up high. Ignore their bullshit. All right. Ignore those fans. They're just full of shit and their lives are just shit. So it's just as simple as that. Um, in terms of me supporting England I don't know I don't think 
I will be supporting England that much. I mean, I'll get the news, but that's kind of put me off. If you miss a fucking penalty and you receive racism and discrimination just for that, then it kind of puts off a lot of young black players into really wanting to play for the team. And it just puts them off like, well, this is what you'll get if you miss, if you fuck up in the England squad. This is the abuse and discrimination you get where you shouldn't receive racism if you fuck up or you play bad or you miss a penalty. Like, it's just really, really sad. And I just hope one day our society can just change and move on. But the fact that it's 2021 and he's still getting racist abuse for missing a fucking penalty. Bear in mind, we're lucky we even made it to the fucking finals. Considering all, considering all the players we had in the last 55 years. Right, considering all those players that you see that were great, that couldn't even make that couldn't even make it to a fucking final. And then you got these bunch of players who aren't even half as good as the motherfuckers back in the day, and they make it to a final. So what the fuck does that say? It's just one of those ones. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, or something like that. I, I, I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know what the fucking thumbnail is gonna be for this. It's pretty. It's just a video that. I would, it's just something that's just on my mind. And yeah, say no to racism. And for those that are being racist towards those three uh, English black boys, go fuck yourselves. Simple as that. Peace.